Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If y'all haven't been here before, it's Dan Dan back with another video. So today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about more Wish products. So the last video I did was on beauty products, but today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about electronic accessories. So like phone cases, um, what else? Adapters, stuff like that. That yours truly has purchased from Wish. So let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to be starting with phone cases. Your girl used to have an iPhone 6 and these are two cases that I got from Wish. This looks like it fell apart but it didn't. That's how the case is. Um, the f this is the back part and then this is the front and then it would just go together like this. And then there's your really protected phone. But this broke. And that happened because I was take I whoa, how did it happen? I forgot. Because I was taking the case off of my phone. So I mean after a while this will break. If you see a case like this on Wish, don't get it because it looks super protective but it will break. I didn't have it for long and then it, I broke it. I was just taking the phone case off. I wasn't trying to break it, but it broke. The back part stayed pretty intact actually very intact so there's just a pretty big scratch there i don't know if you can see it so that's how these this lasted this phone case lasted don't get it if you see it next we got this really girly phone case pictures mm -hmm. yeah i thought that this was really good because like it has 360 protection by 360 protection with the other one i meant like that in the ad it says 360 degree protection because that was what the ad said for that one so i was like oh my god yes protecting my phone Let's do it. And you can see how that turned out. By the way, if you have a screen protector on your phone and then you get one of those phone cases, it's not going to fit properly, which is also another reason why that broke when I was taking it off. Mm -hmm. Any hoozies, this phone case right here, it's really freaking pretty. But it lasted a while. But then this happened. I mean, you could probably like glue it back together, but I mean, this isn't ideal for a phone case. You know, you buy it, you expect it to last for a hot minute and it lasted pretty long, but I mean, it broke. So there's this. Again, my big advice is to look at the reviews and say, you know, people might say it's pretty, looks exactly like the picture. It's great, but durability. So next I got iPhone 7 Plus and 8 Plus phone cases. The other thing I didn't like about this one is that, um, I don't know if y'all can see this, but at the sides, like the edges of the phone case, it is stained from my pants, from my black pants. Put my phone in my back pocket and it's stained, so I don't know, this material isn't really the bestest, I don't know, but it's really pretty. I really recommend these clear ones because if you drop it, you know, the corners are really just really being protected here so i really recommend this clear one you know you can also see your phone through the case um this has a mark because i had one of those um pop socket thingies like the ring ones and i stuck it here but i just recently took it off but yeah clear ones good i also got this charger case um the ad for it said that it was supposed to be like really like lightweight and skinny it is kind of skinny but it's also kind of bulky i don't know how to say it I don't know. It doesn't really protect the sides. Like this part hugs the sides, and that's pretty much it. These parts here it doesn't protect the top. And this is literally just for charging on the go. But it does charge a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it does. Um, if your phone is at like two percent, and then you use this, your phone will probably get to like eighty, possibly ninety percent of this is full. That's okay. And it also came with a stand. Comes with a stand, so you know when you're watching something. You can just have it there and I don't know what this is for but it came with this its own like kind of charger came with the iPhone port but it doesn't come with a cube okay pretty much iPhone 7 and 8 plus this is for the like to put it in and then those portable chargers you can actually use it for another phone because you can plug this in and then you can charge your phone just like plug this in and then turn it on See the lights turn on, I don't know if you can see that, but it turns blue, it means it's fully charged. And then your phone will be charging, even though it doesn't fit in this case. It only works for iPhone 7 and 8 Plus, 
not any other phone, even though it has the same port here. It only works for iPhone 7 8 Plus. And if you have a di if you got a different phone, which is what happened in my case, I wouldn't actually have to get rid of this. I could actually still use it by plugging this in to my phone and then just turning it on and charging it, which is pretty good. A really good charger case. It's a hit. So next are iPhone 10 cases. Um, I actually have the XR, which is why there's these little dots here. Um, this one is the one that I'm currently using for my phone. I just have to take it off. Um, it comes with a stand, which is really good, like how the charger case came with one. It's really good, honestly. I just It has 360 protection. I got it recently, so I can't really say like it lasts long, but it hasn't broken yet, which is really good. I got kind of like a semi-clear one. You can see that there's like glitter and stars inside. It's pretty thick. Again, 360 protection. Really good. It even protects the charger port. And then I got another clear one for it. Again, that I got this one because the clear ones are really good for phones. These are honestly the best. I really recommend these clear phone cases. So y'all, they also sell screen protectors. And the screen protectors I buy are the glass ones, tempered glass. So if your phone drops, this will break, not the phone. And honestly, these are really good. These are actually for the phone I have now. And it comes with like all the things you need to clean. A wet cloth and then a dry cloth. And then the dust absorber stickers, which I never use. I recommend getting these. They're really cheap. Instead of like having to go buy one from Apple, which is like, I don't know, maybe like a thousand dollars. I don't know. So these are 100%. You need to get them if you get a new phone. Screen protectors from Wish are actually really good. Glass, durable, and they will last you a while. So next are like the cables and all that stuff. So when you have iPhone 7 or later, you, as you all know, there is no aux port on those phones. So I got this. It's pretty much plug in your earphones and then charge it at the same time. So pretty much you plug your earphones into this hole here. And then you plug your charger into this hole right over here. And then you're charging and listening to music at the same time because this one goes into your phone. But unfortunately, even though I bought these, these do not last long. Um, and I say this because I was on the phone with my friend one time and I had to use, I was using my beats and I plugged them in here and then I was charging it here because we're FaceTiming and obviously when you FaceTime it drains your battery. So I had it plugged in charging at the same time and my phone told me it doesn't support this accessory. That was an iPhone 7, so it should have supported this, but it didn't. And then at a point I actually got it to work, but it only worked for like five minutes. These on the other hand, it's pretty much the same concept. Here you plug in your charger and then right there you plug in your headphones. This one actually works. I know Apple sells this and I think it's like 40 something dollars. Don't get it. Get it off Wish. It 100% works. That is pretty much everything that I have to show y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up subscribe, comment, all that lovely stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!